guys, it's Michael the Gear Guy here at Little River Training Company in Maryville, Tennessee. Today we're going to talk about down quilts. So most of you are probably familiar with sleeping bags. Um, of course they have zippers, hoods, all of that. A quilt is a little bit more simple, which also brings down the weight in it and also kind of brings down the price as well and, and the size of it. Um, but today we're going to show you the Sea to Summit Traveler. Um, as you can see, it packs up about as small as, or smaller than a football, um, weighs about 13.7 ounces, so it weighs practically nothing, um, rated to 50 degrees, so you can use it in the summer, um, but you can also kind of put it over a different quilt or even a sleeping bag to make that even warmer. Um, when I hiked the Appalachian Trail in 2011, I had a 30 degree quilt and a 45, and I would use both of those together, um, and I brought that down to about 15 degrees one time in the Smokies. Um, so it works really, really well. Um, second, we're gonna talk about the Western Mountaineering Everlight. Um, this one is rated to 45 degrees, weighs 14 and a half ounces. Um, as you can see as well, it's tiny. Um, even with a compression strap, you can get it even smaller. Um, lastly, we have just came into the shop, brand new, it's the Nemo Siren rated to 30 degrees. You can see it's also tiny. Um, it weighs one pound, three ounces, um, so not much at all. Um, it's got 850 fill down in this. Really, really soft material. It's just a great quilt that we just got in. So we'll talk about all three of these quilts. Um, yeah, so let's talk about them. This is the Sea to Summit Traveler. Um, as you can see, it comes with a compression sack. It also comes with a storage sack too. Um, it's always best at home to keep these in their storage sacks. It's basically just a big cotton sack um, so that the down isn't compressed all the time. Um, it'll make your bag last a lot longer. So, you see here, pull it out. What makes this a little bit different than a sleeping bag is that it kind of looks like a sleeping bag, right? But it's almost like one big tube that's held together by a zipper. Um, what you can do, there's multiple ways to use this. You can pull this cord, form a foot box so that no heat will escape. Um, but then you can also, and then you can just crawl in through here, but you can also unzip the entire thing and form just a blanket. Um, so with the blanket, you can use this when it's really warm during the, the summer days here where it's really humid and warm. Um, you can just put this over the top of you, have your feet hang out, all that stuff. Um, you can also, if you if you camp with a quilt, you could use this as a top quilt, an under quilt. Um, there's a whole lot of uses for this. Um, but as you can see, it's fairly simple. Um, there's also a little draw cord up here. So when you do have this around you, if you do this, if you crawl into it, you can kind of cinch this around your neck so that um, heat won't escape. Um, of course, since there's no hood, you're going to be using a balaclava or a, a beanie if it's cold. Of course, in the summer, you, you won't need that. Let's talk about the Western Mountaineering Everlight now. Um, so it has basically the same features as the Sea to Summit, although it is a little bit warmer. It's a 45 degree compared to a 50, um, but same, same deal, uh, zipper going down, um, you've got draw cord here to form a foot box, all the same stuff. Um, something I didn't mention though, with this style, what you can do is, if you hammock camp as well, um, you can actually run the hammock through the tube of the quilt, um, and then you're insulated from the bottom and the top. Um, and then of course, if you need a little bit more insulation, you can just combine them as well. Um, so then, we also have the Nemo Siren, the 30 degree. It's a little bit different than these. It's not going to be the same design. Um, let's pull it out. So it's a 30 degree quilt. has a higher fill, fill power than both of these. It's 850 fill. Um, very light material too. It's also really, really soft to the touch. Um, but I'll demonstrate how this works. You can see it's got quite a bit of cord on here and there's not a zipper on it. Um, what it does have are these little snaps right here by the, the head. So let's get this set up. What you do with this cord, you run the pad through the quilt, 
have the cord go un underneath it, like so, all the way to the end. Then, with this cord, just pull it tight. All it's going to do is kind of make the quilt hug the pad. Um, because the whole reason for this and the whole idea and philosophy about it is the quilt is going to insulate you from the top. Um, when you're laying on a sleeping bag, there's all that down, all of that material that you're laying on, and you're just compressing it. It's not really doing much when you're laying on it. Um, so in this case, your sleeping pad is what's going to keep you warm. Um, you can get an insulated sleeping pad, um, have that underneath you, have the quilt on top, uh, but then you've got this hugging around you just so the heat isn't going to escape. Uh, I toss and turn all night. Um, I still use a quilt and it works fine. I can sleep on my side, on my stomach, on my back. Um, and this works really, really well for me. And then of course you can put something else on top of it if you want to take it down even further. Warm weather's in the forecast, so come on by the shop, um, pick up a quilt. If you have any questions at all, you can just come in and talk to me. Thank you very much.